Hello, Ophiuchus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to January of 2022. Yeah. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Uh, please keep in mind, you guys, that this is a big old general reading. I am going to be splitting it up in two parts. The first half, we're going to talk about Ophiuchus rising. Yes. And then the second half of the reading is going to be general reading for sun, moon rising or any other placement that you have Ophiuchus. Yes. Um, or anywhere else in your chart that you have over you guys. I'm not, I, I, obviously, if you're here watching this reading for Ophiuchus, then you're down with sidereal astrology to begin with. So I don't need to go into that spiel for you. So if you are interested in getting a reading with me, whether that be through astrology or just tarot or both, I am available for that. All the information can be found in the description box below. Yes, just uh, uh, as well as some of the readings that I offer. So read through that, email me, let me know you're interested in a reading and I will get you all set up. If you would like some extra content from me throughout the month, check me out or check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. And as always, please like me, please make sure to like, share, comment, and also subscribe if you are new here. <laughs> Hi, Opiukas. I love you guys. Okay, we are gonna get into this. So, Opiukas rising. Hey guys, this month feels great for you. Um, that very similar to the energies of Virgo. Uh, if it, uh, you might want to watch the Virgo reading because Virgo has an energy of like kind of coming out of the closet about something. You, Ophiuchus, I feel like you're being empowered this month to stand in the truth of who you are. This is why your title for the reading for this month is This is Who I Am. And I congratulate you on that, Ophiuchus, because. I know from my experiences with working with sidereal astrology and incorporating Ophiuchus into my practice, I have gotten so much, I've seen, I've come across so much hate for the sign of Ophiuchus. There was someone that left a comment on the channel a few weeks ago or a week ago or something, not too long ago, in which they said that, and this is not the only time that I've heard this, I've seen this in other places too, uh, but they said that Ophiuchus sounds like an infection or a disease and like you could have just left that out. And somewhere else I heard or I, I read someone left a comment somewhere about how um, if someone were to say the word Ophiuchus, they'd probably hear someone else out in the, in the same room say, bless you, like as if they sneezed or something. That's really disrespectful and derogatory, and I'm sorry for that. Um, but there is a reconciliation here for you. Oh shoot! Hold on, I have to pause. I forgot to get the <laughs> I forgot to get the chart lined up. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I was just so excited to like get into your reading that I forgot to do all the necessary administrative things. But anyway, um, there is definitely a reconciliation for you in terms of this energy here, standing in your truth, standing in your power. So with that said, let's get into the chart. So what you see in front of you is the chart for Ophiuchus rising for the month of January, 2022. And this is, I'm hearing as I'm, I'm just hearing it right now, this is a very empowering month for you. And this is why. So, um, let me, let me just get to what I've written down here. Uh, first thing is that Mars is currently in your sign as of January 8th, which is today that the, that the, the day that I'm recording this reading. Mars is currently in your sign. Now, this is helping you, I feel like this is definitely helping you to feel emboldened and or empowered, like you want to step forward and show the world the real you and or what it is you're made of, okay? This is this definitely feels like Ophiuchus's coming out moment, like coming out of being hidden for so long because, I'll say this quickly, uh, the Babylonians are credited with putting into place what we now know as tropical or mainstream astrology. And yes, there are tons of constellations in the sky. However, it has been confirmed by NASA that the sun 
moves through in terms of like the sun the sun doesn't move we revolve around the sun but in terms of speaking to astrology right the sun moves through in fact has always moved through 13 signs but the babylonians decided to leave ophiuchus out of it and split everything up into four into quarters which okay that makes sense because we lived by as humans we lived by the the seasons back then right this was like two three thousand years ago but it's not but that doesn't mean that Ophiuchus was never a real thing it was always a thing okay so now this feels like this moment where you're coming out okay um also really quick i want to say I, I i've been doing these readings by going with the day of the week that the certain planet the ruling planet of the sign is is uh, associated with unfortunately for you Ophiuchus your your planet is not associated with any sign and, and it's actually it's not a it's not a planet it's an asteroid but your ruling planet or asteroid is chiron okay and chiron isn't really associated with a day but i knew today spirit was saying today is saturday it's a saturn day okay we're definitely doing capricorn but spirit also wanted me to do ophiuchus today okay great so i got up in the morning i sat down i turned on the the computer and i got into my system into my program and i shit you not ophiuchus your sign was rising at the moment that i opened the the, the um the, the program here so that to me was just confirmation that spirit was like yep we're ready let's do ophiuchus today that's really cool anyway that's a total sidebar but um so anyway uh right let's just <laughs> let's move forward get it together eric the next thing that is really helping you with this feeling of being empowered or emboldened to show the world who you truly are to emerge from the depths, to no longer allow yourself to be hidden or pushed aside any longer, is the fact that Venus, first of all, Venus is moving retrograde, right? So that is helping us to reshape our values. For you specifically, Ophiuchus, this is happening in your second house. And for you this month, the, the big focus is your second house, your, set, your house of values, how it is you make money and all that kind of stuff, right? what it is you put value in and what i feel like is helping you at this moment is that everybody is going through a collective reshaping of our values for you specifically what i am noticing here is that at least today today into tomorrow uh, so the 8th of january into the 9th of january uh, let me animate this really quick and see for sure um but into the 9th of january i'm also feeling maybe possibly into the 10th we do have a conjunct a conjunction between the sun and venus okay yeah, kind of into the 10th but really it's today the 8th into the 9th okay is when venus and the sun are going to be conjuncting and i didn't speak to that for anyone else except for you um because it just so happened to be that when i sat down to do your reading i noticed this conjunction and it's not and that was that that's always going to happen the sun conjuncts with everything okay it's a conjunction with the sun really isn't always the biggest thing but we're focusing on it this month because the sun is actually meeting up with pluto this month and that's helping to empower our sense of selves okay but as of this moment venus is going to be conjuncting with the sun today the eighth into tomorrow the ninth and this is also happening in the second house for you so it, this is the house of your of major focus this month yes now in terms of shifting values it feels like there is some clarity you're receiving that is quote allowing you to step forward it feels like the dust has settled in some way or in a sense and now the clouds are parted and you're able to be seen all right it feels like Venus conjuncting the sun is giving you a boost of confidence. Absolutely. And that is definitely connected to the changing values of everybody, right? So this is kind of, so, so this is, I got an image of a mother gently pushing her child out into the world, encouraging them to go out to play and explore. It's like she's making it okay to do so because so much is shifting within the collective. Now, what's also helping you there is the fact that Uranus, 
which is moving retrograde through Aries right now. Uranus, Uranus is in your fifth house, which is ruled by Leo, but which is also the house of personal expression, right? So when I think about moving through the, the, the houses in succession, you get to the fourth house, which is your house of nurturance here. And actually you have a ton of energy going on. Even Chiron is in your fourth, fourth house. I'll talk about that in a, in a moment. But the fourth house is related to your home life, your family life, how it is you are nurtured, how it is you were nurtured as a child growing up, and how it is you nurture yourself moving forward. From there, that energy sets a foundation it's a, it's a number four, right? So that's a foundational energy anyway, but that sets the foundation in how you then emerge when you get into the fifth house, how you emerge from that stability, from that nurturing place, and then express yourself. And here for you, Uranus is moving retrograde through Aries, which is helping us to reshape our sense of self and this is also in your fifth house. So this is a fifth house focus for you. This has been a fifth house focus for you as we've been dealing with this retrograde motion of Uranus, which has been happening since late August or mid to late August of 2021, right? All this is, I'm hearing all reshaping our identities here. Um, also with that said, Chiron, your ruling asteroid, is in the fourth house, which again is your house of nurturance, and that is in Pisces. Pisces is your fourth is in your fourth house. Also, with that, Neptune is there. So Neptune is the energy of well, is is associated with Pisces. So Neptune is in its home sign of Pisces right now. But in your fourth house, connected to Chiron, there is definitely a healing energy that is coming through for you in terms of your sense of nurturance. But I'm hearing specifically self-nurturance. This is giving you the opportunity, the power to push forward and emerge. To emerge. Ophiuchus. So go on ahead, draw on the power of the sun, draw on that Leo energy and allow yourself to be expressed in all your glory. Yeah. What do we have here? Okay. We do have the three of wands that's come out in reverse here for you. Your path ahead, something about your path is changing. And I definitely feel like that has a lot to do with the fact that because you're feeling emboldened to really embrace yourself as you truly are, as a natural result, your path forward is changing. Your alignment with the path forward is changing. Some of you are definitely getting into, yup, look at this, Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck now. Some of you are actually getting into greater alignment with what it is you're really truly meant to be doing here because you're allowing yourself to accept yourself for who you are. Now you have the Four of Swords in reverse. <laughs> with the seven of cups in reverse. Okay. And I'm kind of wondering why are all these reversals coming out for you right now? But that's because you're no longer confused. You're no longer confused about your identity. You no longer have to sit back and think about it. Ooh, Ophiuchus. You're no longer confused about that shit. Why? Because you're good. You're solid in yourself. Four of wands to justice. Justice is being served for Ophiuchus this month and for the and for the coming future, okay? Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Your destiny, your luck is changing. You are stepping into real and true destiny. Any of the energies that have been deceptive, destructive, combative, not a problem for you any longer. Underneath the Wheel of Fortune is the Seven of Swords to the Five of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Underneath the Queen of Swords is the Two of Cups. Getting to in, into emotional alignment with yourself, Two of Cups then to the Knight of Wands, and having that loving, nurturing energy within yourself so that you can move forward, empowered, activated, enthusiastic, inspired Knight of Wands. Yes? Oh, oh, Fiucus. Oh, God. Oh, I am, I am so happy for you. I'm like, and I don't, and like, no, honestly, like really, Ophiuchus, I'm really friggin' happy for you because you deserve to be seen and heard. You are not some pariah. You are not a disease. You are not an infection. Like, fuck all of that, dude. Anything else for Ophiuchus at this time? 
spirit said, no, it's all pretty straightforward, but we'll give you this also. Ace of Swords. Truth. Integrity. Honor thyself. Because you deserve to be honored and respected in this way. There are people that are going to come up and be like, and, and be throwing opinions all over the place. Well, I don't think this is valid. This is disgusting. Who the fuck cares? Okay. Because we know the truth. Those of us who really vibe here, we know the truth. We don't have to allow this to get in our way any longer. Okay. Yeah. Closing messages for you here, Ophiuchus Rising. I want to, no. Ooh, which one, Spirit? The, the unicorns. Okay. Uh, I want to go with closing oracle guidance for you for the, from the magic of unicorns. Yeah? Five shuffles. One. Mm, try that again. One. Come on now. Third time's a charm. One. There we go. Two. For Ophiuchus, closing oracle guidance, please. Hear it for Ophiuchus rising. Three. Four. And five. Closing oracle guidance for my Ophiuchus rising for the month of January 2022, please. Spirit. Okay, excellent. Master number here for you so far, one of them. Card number 22, Ma uh, manifest your dreams. Focus on your vision. Seek satisfaction and contentment because baby, you deserve it. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know where that came from, but okay. <laughs> Next. Oh my God. Yes, card number 13. Death and transformation, death and rebirth. All right. Creative solutions. Think outside the box. View things from a higher perspective. Bam. This is what you're bringing forward here. By you standing in your power and accepting yourself for who you are, you then create a situation in which others are able to accept you too. Of course, they're going to get that. They're going to get there in their own time, but you need to accept yourself first. And so by you standing in your power in this way, Ophiuchus, you are influencing others to think outside the box. Which, I mean, I feel like that's your energy anyway. You're a very radical energy. You're a very strong healing energy. Some people may look at your energy and think you're chaotic and extremely destructive and they want to stop you. Your constellation is associated with uh, the dark feminine. And that can also be associated with the devouring feminine. Um, sometimes I even associate you with Lilith. I love Lilith. Uh, but to me, Lilith represents the, the original scorned woman, right? And so there's a lot of anger. There's a lot of resentment especially with how you've just been cut out and discarded your your constellation at least right so yeah there there is a lot of destructive energy that comes with that very kali energy as well kali ma right the goddess of dust destruction but the, but what i've learned about you or your energy ophiuchus in sitting with you and just channeling you even though you can have these extreme moments where you're completely destructive, I mean like burn it all down to the ground is an understatement at times, right? I've also found that it's usually, it, 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 it quite often has a reason behind it. You're not just arbitrarily destroying things for shits and giggles. No, there's a reason for it, okay? So you're literally influencing people to think outside the box when you stand in your power and accept yourself for who you truly are. Finally, you have card number 35, divine potential. Fulfill your destiny. Be all that you can be. Go ahead and drop that mic. <laughs> 
All right, Ophiuchus, there you have it, or at least Ophiuchus rising. I am going to pause now, reset, and then we're going to get into the second half of this reading, which is going to be the big old general energy for Ophiuchus everything. Yeah? Stay tuned. All righty, Ophiuchus, we are here for the general side of this reading. So if you have skipped the first half, welcome. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to January. Yes? We're going to get into this Ophiuchus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other placement that you have Ophiuchus or that you have in Ophiuchus. Um, also could be talking to a cross watcher. Yeah? We're going to go with the Energy Oracle deck. Five shuffles. One for my Ophiuchus. What messages do we have for Ophiuchus for the month of January 2022? This is two. Three. Four. And five. All right, general messages for Ophiuchus for January 2022. What messages do we have? First card out, you have Ophiuchus' Archangel Raphael and the fourth chakra. All about connecting with your heart, all about connecting with unconditional love. This is connecting to the truth of who you are and allowing yourself to be healed in terms of ways that you have been discredited or pushed aside, told that you are not legitimate. Next, you have contract in reverse. So this is speaking to soul contracts. I'm hearing at the bottom of the deck is healer of the ages. Now your ruling planet or asteroid really is Chiron. And Chiron is known as the wounded healer. So you are naturally, your energy is extremely healing. Okay. Uh, but this is really about healing you also. And there are contracts here that you had with individual soul contracts that I'm hearing that are now finished and done with. And what I am picking up on Ophiuchus is that part of these contracts have been very destructive or very negative or have left you battered and bruised but i'm also feeling that you needed to go through these contracts these were not arbitrary it's not like you got down here into this physical manifestation and then all of a sudden you lined up with these people that just wanted to tear you down or hurt you those were agreed upon in the beginning before you got here but those contracts helped you to develop this sense of self helped you get to the point where you can now emerge from the depths from the ashes phoenix from the ashes risen saying this is who i am those contracts are complete what else do we have for both of you guys Oh man, Ophiuchus. Okay, so, um, okay. What you have now, you have community with patience and the angel of strength. So this is three of cups, temperance, and sh the strength card, those types of energies. And what I'm getting for you here is that you really are meant to be a leader, okay? There is a, uh, uh, a community of people that you are going to be aligning with in due time it's not going to happen right away okay you need to have patience here um but i do feel like with those contracts that you went through that are now completed you have the strength the perseverance the level of patience that you would need to really continue working towards aligning with this new community or this soul family at the bottom of the deck you have archangel metatron with the sixth chakra okay vision seeing seeing the truth and bringing that forward for people i also thought this was the fifth chakra um which to me is what which is your throat chakra which is all about communicating i do I, I but so even though it's not that card i do feel that energy here for you there are some things that you're going to need to, to tell people or some stories to tell people you're meant to be an orator i'm hearing um 
I'm hearing channeling the energies and bringing the knowledge and the, and the, the necessary materials forward, <clears throat> which is beautiful. All right. Cool. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm going to, I'm trying to pull to, I'm trying to get to the tarot here. I want to move forward and now, and my deck was on top of one of my Oracle decks, which is the Oracle of the seven energies. And look at what came up as I was picking up the deck. Storyteller. Look at that. Okay, cool. Yeah, and underneath that, there were two cards that came up. It was Storyteller, and then underneath Storyteller is a higher view. Beautiful. Higher awareness, pulling in, drawing in energies from higher perspectives and channeling that and expressing that. Whether it is you're uh, speaking it or whether you're expressing it just by living it, okay? Five shuffles for some tarot here for you. One. For my Ophi Yukins, January 2022. This is two. Three. Four. Oh! Something came out already, okay. Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Four. And five. All right. Yes. So the reality that you dream of in which things are more reciprocal, here it comes. The star with the six of pentacles. But you achieved that, Ophiuchus, by changing your alignment. Underneath the deck, you do have the page of wands. Showing up in a different way. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. Having a different message, message to send. It all starts with you, Ophiuchus. Part of the contracts that you experienced um, have been teaching you the importance of standing in your truth, your authenticity. That's uh, This kind of came out for Ophiuchus Rising, but I'm being brought back to the Seven of Cups that came out in reverse. It was with the Three of Wands in reverse and something else. I don't remember, but specifically it's the Seven of Cups in reverse. There has been a lot of energy for you of waffling back and forth, kind of asking, who am I? Is this who I truly am? No. Well, maybe this is it. No. Trying all these different things just to fit in somehow. But you are not going to fit in until you accept yourself and then you stand in that power. And that is the energetic vibration that changes everything for you. That is the energetic vibration that brings you the healing that is necessary so that you can align with the individuals or the situations that are reciprocal, that do see you and accept you for who you truly are, that do want to incorporate you into the reality. What else do we have for Ophiuchus? The tower. Ooh. Okay, what else? Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus. Overall energy is the hermit. This is your true light here. Now the tower came out first. Okay, and then with that, I saw the queen of pentacles which had flipped over and was stuck inside the deck. But what really brings this tower down, what really changes the situation for you is when you stand up and honor yourself and that and you demand to be respected. You demand to be seen. You demand to be heard. And you don't have to be super aggressive about it. You don't have to go roaring into a situation, screaming at the top of your lungs, you will accept me. No. That's not how you do it. You do it by holding self-respect, okay? By not engaging in situations with people that look at you like you're a pariah or a disease. 
I mentioned this in Ophiuchus Rising, but like just by working with sidereal astrology and incorporating Ophiuchus into my practice, I've come across some of the really hateful ways that, spe that people speak of Ophiuchus. Somebody left a comment recently on the channel talking about how Ophiuchus sounds like a, a disease or an infection. Malarkey, okay? So this is how you bring the tower down. This is how you change the reality by respecting yourself, okay? With all of that, you have the three of pentacles to the six of cups to the four of wands. So moving forward here, you are really going to be building a life of bliss for yourself by working on yourself, self-mastery, but by also being a team player. Like, I, w I really want to make this very clear. You don't have to be super forceful. You don't have to be belligerent. You don't have to turn around and be disrespectful to those that have disrespected you just so that you can gain respect. No, we don't want to stoop down to that level. But you do, you will achieve this by only, only being involved with individuals or situations that respect you. And you will know that, you will attract that, you will align with that by holding this respect for yourself. But then also in terms of being a team player, you have to, even if you find yourself in situations with people that don't really recognize you, that's okay. You don't have to stoop down to their level. You can recognize them. You can show them what it is, what it feels like, what it looks like to be incorporative. Like I could have, I could have dragged that person. I could have read that person, the riot act that talked about how Ophiuchus sounds like an infection, but I didn't. I calmly and compassionately just explained that Ophiuchus was left out. Like she said, she was like, they could leave that out. And I was like, well, actually they did. And then I explained why. No need to be disrespectful. Incorporate this into your being and you will be divinely successful. Let's see what else we have. Anything else for Ophiuchus from the, from the Tarot, please, Spirit? Oh, the tower. Judgment. Now is the time for you to rise like the phoenix from the ashes. That's also connected to the tower. It's not like you're the one that's deeming this time. No. The universe is so all you gotta really do is fall back on that i said this to who i think i said this to libra yesterday but like go ahead and blame the universe if you want it's not my fault it's time for ophiuchus to be recognized period anything else beautiful the sun now i'm hearing the sun uh, um the, the 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 that song from annie the sun will come out the sun will come out tomorrow bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun there will be sun excuse me but i feel like that's kind of what you've been singing to yourself over all this time well looky here baby boo the sun has come out and you are being recognized. I'm getting emotional. I might want to, cry. I might cry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to close this out. Oracle of the seven energies. Excellent. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. four and five all right y'all closing oracle guidance for my op you can
Interesting, you got the same cards, two of the same cards as Capricorn, which is funny because I did their reading today also. But anyway, overall energy at the bottom of the deck is earth magic. Ground yourself. You have a rightful place here on this earth. Therefore, you deserve to allow yourself to get grounded and set roots. Yeah? Finally, you have card number 26. Great big love, Ophiuchus. Shower yourself. Allow yourself to just bask in all of the loving energy that is coming forward for you right now. Because again, I, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, you deserve to be seen and to be heard. You are part of this experience, of this cycle. So don't allow anybody to tear you down or knock you down anymore, okay? All right, Ophiuchus, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, whether that just be astrology or tarot or both, hit me up. Uh, my Some of the readings that I offer can be found in the description box below as, lo as well as my email address. Just send me an email and I'll get you all set up. Again, if you would like more or extra content from me throughout the month, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box as well. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and if you're new here, subscribe. Yeah? I love you guys so much. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yes? Beautimus. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>